Hello everyone, I'm Gita Rani Prastuti. I'm tax analyst from Compliance Risk and Data Science. And I'm here with Aditya Warman, Head of Tax Payer Monitoring and Consultation Team from Kebayoran Baru Dua Tax Office. So we're from Director General of Taxes, the Ministry of Finance of the Republic of Indonesia. And thank you for attending the sessions. First of all, us to say thank you very much to the IEA Work Congress Committee. It's an honor to be selected in this. And so today we'd like to present one of our behavioral economics research in tax compliance, which we've conducted since 2014. So there is a growing interest in public bodies to adopt behavioral economics applications putting it into practice. So in this case, PGD have been applied behavioral economics theory to encourage tax compliance. And we have been tested this insight from several communication channels like letters, emails, tax messages, and phone calls. And when we run this research in 2019, we would like to encourage a specific of individual taxpayers who haven't filed their annual return in the last three fiscal years between 2016 and 2019 completely. So we were in the tax compliance unit that time, collaborate with PGT's call center to run this research. And we test the effectiveness of a light touch interventions from behavioral economics theory to encourage taxpayers to file or tax annual return completely. And we have several outcomes from this project. The words we would like to determine whether a behavioral for messages um, could encourage taxpayers to file all, all of their tax return. The second one, we also interest to determine the amount of taxpayers who file a non-zero tax returns. It means that uh, taxpayers pay their taxes. And the third one, we also interest to see of the amount of tax collected, the amount of tax paid, and the last, we also interest to determine the actual commitment made by taxpayers. This is the script comparison between taxpayer in the control and the treatment group. There is a minor alteration in the context, particularly in the body and winning words. We evaluate the impact of our intervention. A month later, we found out that all communication scripts improve filing rates. And conducting call with behavioral message was more effective than the existing script. The behavioral informed script led to a 2.8% point increase compared to no call and 1.11% point increase compared to the current communication style. The new script also succeeds to encourage 33.35% taxpayers to paid income taxes, which higher than in the pure control and control group. However, although taxpayers who receive a behavioral message paid a high amount of taxes compared to the other groups, there is insufficient evidence to say that the message have an impact on the amount of tax paid. This might happen since they already have paid a final tax or already withheld by the third party. Moving to figure four, which illustrates the percentage amount of the actual commitment made by taxpayer, which become one of the main interests of the contact center. The data was collected from the call summary, which one of evidence implies taxpayer commitment to report the tax returns. Taxpayers in the both control and treatment group shows high commitment in, file, in filing the tax returns, but taxpayers in the treatment group perform higher commitment, 96.42% compared to 
compared to control group 86.95%. A greater commitment appears from the treatment group might caused by the social norm usage and commitment repetition emphasize the engagement on their work. So from this point, TKT has presented a result of a nationwide randomized control trials on tax compliance using color reminders to encourage specific behavior of taxpayers. And behavioral informed message is proven more effective results compared to the standard one. And this finding emphasis that Indonesia has a good experience in applying a rigorous impact evaluation in the behavioral economics applications in promoting an evidence-based policy. And moreover, tax authority should consider to apply behavioral economics theory into a wide range of tax administration area. And DGT should see this as a great challenge as currently having a tax reform and to align behavioral economics applications with big data analytics to deliver a more effective and efficient way in encouraging taxpayers' compliance behavior to a wide range of tax administration's area, such as tax services, debt collections, tax monitoring, as well as tax audit. And DGT should consider to what degree we would like to develop behavioral insights and consider to building a dedicated unit for behavioral insights which have been done in some countries such as the UK, Singapore, and Australia. And last but not least, DGT should build awareness of the importance of behavioral economics as well as evidence-based policy making. So this is the end of our presentation. We hope this could deliver a new insight to you. And thank you very much for your attention.